Hi. Yo, welcome. Sorry, I was just trying to sort something out. And of course, my chat ain't working properly. I've had some problems with this, so you're a paranormal pro uh, professional, paranormal research. I've had some problems It just crashed on me. So I was. Uh, I've already lost count of the days since they relieved me of duty. I'm back to restart. Strange how years of your life can just vanish in the blink of an eye. The neck. Then in a flash, you've got. How's you anyway? Time. time to reflect on everything that's happened. Hard to believe it's been only a few years since this all began. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid. I was Boy, recording a uh, game earlier. Talent for biotics. We came across the lone I'm survivor of the patrol. Try and Gunner put Chief up. Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core. Tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. I'm going to try and put up uh, Master. Nothing I'd ever uh, seen. Halo Master Chief it collection. Was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move, could barely breathe. Everything. By the time I woke up, we were happy. Anderson came along. So did Adina. The main suspect for the Eden, but even Adina's pointed accusation. They needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel Security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex. The biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Sarah. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing oh, the galaxy hey. of all organic life. 
These That's Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship. Liara. A Prothean ex- And like most Asari, Liara was able to help me decide. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I decided discretion was the better part of valor, and kept my focus on our goal. Finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our the Queen's initiative. drones were everywhere. And I tried were. to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni Queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true Plus to her word. She in left and took her army handy. drones with her. With weapons of mass With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage. A disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves. Mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base. And all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it. That these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried, but I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend, and a great soldier. But I had to choose, and I chose Kate. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. 
I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. I'd never tell anyone, but I had my doubts. Leaving Ashley behind had hardened my resolve, but revealed a soft spot in my defenses. How many more friends and allies would I be willing to sacrifice in order to stop Saren? We arrived on Ilos, close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human alliance fleet in jeopardy. Uh, save the Council. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Adina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice? Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. I didn't much like Adina, but sometimes you need a pit bull on your side. Someone willing to be the bad guy for the sake of the greater good. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. But the Geth and Saren were just the beginning. The Reapers had other plans. A few months after the battle for the Citadel, while we were on patrol, we were attacked by an unknown vessel. Before we knew what was happening, we were disabled and forced to abandon ship. The Normandy was destroyed. We lost a lot of good people. I almost didn't make it myself. Technically, I was as close to death as you can get. By the time my body was recovered, there wasn't much left. 
The pro-human group, Cerberus, acquired what was left of my body and spent the next two years rebuilding me. My memories, abilities, everything. The person in charge of my recovery was a Cerberus agent, Miranda Lawson. Brilliant and efficient. But before I could be completely rehabilitated, the Cerberus facility we were in was attacked and was forced to fight my way out. In my condition, I should have died. But an ex-Alliance soldier named Jacob Taylor kept me alive. We found Miranda and we escaped. They took me to meet the elusive man, the leader of Cerberus and the one who had ordered me rebuilt. The elusive man lived up to his name, offering half answers to many of my questions. But he did explain why he had brought me back. He believed I was the one person who could stop the Reaper threat. And he explained that the Reapers had a new ally, an insectoid race called the Collectors, the ones who had attacked the Normandy two years earlier. Since that time, they'd been systematically abducting entire human colonies and taking them beyond the Omega-4 Relay, a place that no ships other than collector ships ever returned from. The elusive man wanted me to find out why humans were being abducted and to end it. In return, Cerberus would outfit me with a rebuilt Normandy, weapons, and a skeleton crew, as long as I agreed to take along Miranda, Jacob, and an illegal AI named Edie. I told the elusive man I wanted my own team, People I knew. He already had a list of individuals that he wanted. People that might be willing to go on a suicide mission. To head beyond the Omega-4 relay and face the unknown. It was an interesting list. Ex-convicts, assassins, experimental scientists. In the end, it was my choice. It would take time and effort to recruit them all. And with more humans disappearing every day, I wasn't sure I should bother. I decided I needed all the help I could get. Recruiting the team took me all over the galaxy. Along the way, I met some old friends. They were quick to join, despite the risks. As for the rest, finding them and convincing them to join me on a suicide mission was difficult, but keeping them from killing each other was next to impossible. They only had to stay alive long enough to complete the mission. I wasn't sure what difference it would make if they were happy doing it. But if we were going to survive this, our best chance was to make sure everyone was working together. I tried to recruit and reconnect with a few of my old squad, but they were suspicious of Cerberus. No doubt why they weren't on the elusive man's list to begin with. Worse, they had moved on. For two years, they'd believed I was dead and lost. Now? Now I was headed off on another suicide mission. If things were going to get better between us, it would take time. But I was running out of time. Maybe once the mission was over, we could try to reconnect. With most of the team recruited, we were getting close. We just needed to figure out how to survive the Omega-4 relay. Our best chance came when we discovered a damaged collector ship. We went in knowing it could be a trap, but we had to try. What we found there was almost unbelievable. The collectors weren't a new race at all. They were the twisted remnants of the Protheans. Slaves of the Reapers. And humans were the next target. The Collectors were abducting tens of thousands of humans for the Reapers, and unless we could find a way to stop them, we'd end up just like the Protheans. We had to escape before we could find out the secrets of the Omega-4 Relay, but we were more determined than ever to put a stop to the Collectors. All we needed now was a way through the Relay. Edie had figured out what we needed, and the Elusive Man knew where to find it. We stole parts from a derelict Reaper to mask our ship's signature, to make the Normandy appear as a Reaper and allow us safe passage. As soon as we had what we needed, Joker and Edie began testing. But while I was away on a mission with the team, the Collectors attacked the Normandy, determined to destroy it before we could finish the tests. Joker and Edie did their best to fight them off. They saved the ship, but the entire crew was abducted, taken beyond the Omega-4 relay. Jacob wanted to go immediately and rescue the crew. Edie and Miranda wanted more time to prepare before we attacked.
We had everything we needed to get through the Omega-4 relay safely. I wouldn't risk the lives of the crew by waiting. Eventually, we were ready to go. I gathered everyone to go over the plan. We all knew this was likely a one-way ticket. The team was as ready as they could be, but they were nervous. We knew this could be our last day together. We were scared and looking for reassurance. Some of us found it in each other. But I went to my cabin to be alone, to prepare for the attack, go over every detail. I had to make sure we were ready. The day of the attack, everything went as planned, at first. The Normandy made it safely through. As we scanned the wreckage of all the ships that had failed before us, we found what we were looking for, the Collector Base. And guarding it, the ship that had destroyed the Normandy two years ago and almost ended my life. But this time, we were the attacker. The Normandy sustained heavy damage. We lost some of the team, but eventually we destroyed the Collector ship and made our way to their base. We knew the fighting inside would be brutal. We arrived intact, and the team was strong, resilient. We repelled every attack thrown at us. Eventually, we made it to the heart of the base. To this day, I can hardly believe what we saw there. The collected humans had been dissolved, transformed and repurposed to create the frame for a new Reaper. A massive human Reaper abomination. We had no choice but to destroy it. The battle caused severe damage to the base, but we needed to destroy it completely. As I prepped explosives to finish the job, we received a message. The elusive man. He didn't want us to destroy the base at all. He wanted to preserve it. He wanted to study how the humans were transformed into the abomination we'd seen. To use the technology of the Collectors to help defeat the Reapers. I always suspected the elusive man had his own motives, but I couldn't agree with him on this. We had stopped the Collectors. We would find a way to stop the Reapers without sacrificing our morality in the process. We destroyed the base, completely, and escaped back through the Omega-4 relay. The mission was over, but we paid a price for our success. We lost almost half the team, but at least we were able to rescue the crew in time. And in the end, we stopped the Reapers from creating a human Reaper abomination. And we bought everyone just a little more time. If only there was more time. The Reapers are still coming. Every day a bit closer. I handed every piece of intel on the Collectors and Cerberus over to the Alliance Brass. They're not sure what to make of it. But at least they're listening. I just hope they figure out what to do about it soon. Before time runs out for all of us. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleet's immobilizing. God help us all.
Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The Defense Committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. You know we're not ready if it is there. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one, then blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done, any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be idle. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard? Kate? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. It's not like you learned the Reapers were coming and didn't tell me. I suppose you're right. Admiral? Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? They couldn't be that close already. How they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual.
haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Wake up, Shepard. It's no time to sleep, man. So I was just sharing them. Take a running jump. It's farther than it looks. Come on, let's go. Go this way. Looks clear. Let's go. Come on, let's keep moving. Major, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with you. We're taking heavy fire. Husks! Take him out! Shoot him! I'm out of ammo. Come on, we gotta move! Have to take these things out the old-fashioned way. Watch it! Through this way. Everyone 
one's dying. Someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. You're not responsible for the ones that die. We fight for the ones left standing when it's all over. Yeah. Maybe you're right. They get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <clears throat> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. <clears throat> you sure about that? No, but you were a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Reload, let's keep moving. Ooh, that was close. Oh. Major Alenko, we're in sight of the spaceport. ETA, three minutes.
Friendlies. You two all right? Get down, they'll see you. Yo, welcome to the stream. I am your host, Ken here. Keep your head down. Nice shot. Gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on. Let's get to that gunship. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship at the harbor. I'm activating its distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Major! Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. Let's go. 
Welcome aboard, Shepard. Thanks. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. <sighs> Hi, brother. Yo, Andy. How are you? My chat ain't working. What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? That's better. Where are we going? As as a fan, hey. and Andy. We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit! He wouldn't order us to leave. We don't have a choice. Without help, this war is already over. Forget it. Drop me off someplace, cause I'm... Enough! Don't you think I'd rather stay and fight? We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker, that you? I am backed. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. How's you and the family? Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find his outpost on Mars. Oh, we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Prothean archives with Dr. Tassoni. We found a way to stop the Reapers. The only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. 
add a glitch on this. You've been very busy today. Yeah. Yeah, I know that feeling. This is local. Been trying to sort out. What do you think we'll find there? My uh, red to this. But if it helps us win this war. I still can't hit. I still can't Grab get any um, audio. I don't know why. I programmed it all right. I should think I have. Um. I just. Still no contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. Guys were Cerberus, weren't they? Sure looked like it. Cerberus, what are they doing here on Mars? Good question. You don't know. I'm not with them anymore, Caden. If that's what you're asking. 
It wasn't, but you have to admit, it's a bit, uh, convenient. Go on Facebook DMR group and see if there is someone who can help. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to. Commander, I thought you told Cerberus to screw off after you wiped out that collector base they were after. That's exactly what I did. Well, one thing's for sure. They're no friend of the Alliance. Agreed. Shepard, I need a straight answer. About what? Do you know anything about why Cerberus is here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You work for them, for God's sakes. How am I not supposed to think that? I used them to take down the Collectors. That's it. There's more to it. They rebuilt you from the ground up. They give you a ship. Resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now, or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. It's just that... I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Caden. Trust me. I do, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. Liara. You're there, be someone in your area with a plug for you. They hit Earth hard? Yeah. It was hard to leave like that. Caden, I'm sorry. But why do you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Oh, I think there is some actually. Some answers. But I need, I need to download Maybe. the. I've discovered plans for a process. Um, one that could wipe out the Reapers. Copy the um, Retivis in the Prothean archives, RT eighty yes. two uh, programming software and that onto the uh, onto a uh, oh yeah. Sounds like this weapon might be our best chance to blow the Reapers to hell. It's not Some a weapon, drive not or yet. um. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. Memory card. Get it. The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't ne locked it down. Next time I go to the club well, meeting, I'll yeah, um. No bent on catching you. They I'll have with the guy. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers? 
Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives. We've got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the ship. If Cerberus beats us to the Archives, I need you covering the exits. But... Now, Lieutenant. I hear them. We should take cover. Looks like they found us. Not a problem for someone with biotics. Shepard. That's all of them. Good. Let's find a way up. Cerberus get into the facility? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? <laughs> Doubtful. But I suppose anything's possible. I emailed my mate Brian Harris to see if he has one. He lives in Asford. Oh, yeah. We'll need access to the pedway. Controls should be nearby. Is ending. I can't seem to unlock the I've been having a look at uh, for some raspberry pies. That woman in the vid? Um, that's Dr. Eva Corey. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. All right, looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof, we can find a way around from there. Great, let's move. Get a raspberry pie. That's only getting close. What would I need for it, Andy? What the hell? Looks like the Alliance is still putting up. Commander, did you read me? Barely. Storm's causing interference. Override security protocols. 
someone vented the air from this room while they were still here. Looks like they died trying to claw their way out. This is brutal, even by Cerberus standards. DMR top hat. DMR top hat. Right. We need to pressurize the room first. Uh, on. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Right, okay. Hey, there's a recording of what happened here. Security station, come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Where would I get that then, Andy? Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as you... Can I get it from Amazon? I guess we know how Cerberus got in. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to right. stop them? We'll be right what back, if Andy. Our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix. Come on, Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. Be right back all.
back. Right. As soon as I can die. find all my spares, I send well, you I one. Dot, you can buy them from eBay so or a Merzen MMDBM right. board is what you need. We'll stop, one way or another. MMDVM okay, board. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station right. through there. Right. Good. Let's move. Okay. Uh, You need to know what it is UHF or VHF. It'll be for uh, both. This is where they studied the various relics unearthed here. What did they find? More than I could describe in a short conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Prothean data troves that have never... That's the tram line. It takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just through here.
that's an understatement. I take it that's the only way. Mm. It's the only way I know of. We'll skirt around. Stay out of its sights. I'll move up first. And and leave him. Stay in cover, Shepard. M M D V M. Shit. Right, so I can get more for 68 Damn quid, Andy. What the board? Yeah, I'll uh, share the link to you. Uh, sixty eight quid. URL That's the one I've seen no one else comes across. But there might be a, there might be other ones I have No one and shut down those cameras Looks like they've made it to the archives And I doubt they'll just send us a tram Can you override it? Uh. The archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not if we can find a short-range communicator. Helmet to helmet. And? And we convince them that we're on their side. Tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. 
What? The Major has become very capable. Agree. Commander, I found something. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... My god. Looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. But they've definitely done something to him. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? Um... There's others, but... I don't know. I don't know. It's all new to me. Caden, I'm still me. But I've got a mission, and I'm not going to force you to come along. I'm with you, Commander. I just wanted you to know why I'm... Come on. Let's see if we can get them to send that tram over. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell have you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo Team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position, flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. Affirmative. You are well. That and a squad of angry Cerberus troops.
assumptions about the value of the data stored here. There is one on eBay I have used this movie before. Yep, I've got it, Andy. That will fit a Pi or a Pi Zero. So, uh, what about uh, a Pi? Where can I get that from uh, Amazon as well? Sorry, Andy. You're Ori Bay. has known about the archives for more than 30 years and what have they done with it what do you want what i've always wanted the data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the reaper threat i've seen your solution your people are turned into monsters Hardly. the problem is there is a pie shortage improved yeah that's what separates us <laughs> 
Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to save up and get them. It's the only way I can do it. With that data, I'll rid the galaxy of those machines once and for all. Your vision is pathetically limited. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. We are. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Go to hell. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. <clears throat> Um. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. I mean, it do doesn't really matter if, I, if I've got one, uh, does hey, it, Andy? Yo, welcome to the stream all. I'm your host, the Game Ham. Don't be shy, say hi in chat or do not bite. Just then you will not need a plug for your radio. Radio the Normandy. Get them down here now. All right, okay. So without without the pie and that Oh, I'm going to be base basically Knackered. I got this one. No. Right. Okay. For those that are new to the uh, stream. Uh, me and my uh, admin are talking down the radio. Uh, it's um, for a, a radio, for a digital radio. So we're we're just discussing different things for it.
so I can just program them Grab that thing. Bring it with us. as um, just a normal radio thing. And they. If anyone's got any questions, please put them in, in chat. Either myself or my admin will try and help out as best as we can. Here you can use a hotspot as a repeater. Oh right, okay. Needs medical That's attention. cool. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Commander. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? So... A weapon. My... Massive in size and scope that's capable of unquantifiable if I got that, of destruction. Them both, Andy. Send me the data. I can set we'll my... Our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this um, might be the key to stopping the Reapers. Pi. I hope so. Major Alenco nah, was critically as a hot as a yeah, repeater. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. Am I right? But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. Digital luck, repeater. They'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch yeah. soon. Hack it out. Cool. And I'll need... I'll still need my Command. antenna then, won't I? Yeah. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Major Olenko? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer if we can build it. So I'm just taking a swig of water. Don't quite believe it, though. That's better. I'm a soldier. I should be back on Earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't.
Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. Yo, shaken. What's going on, my dude? How's you? Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial? Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with. We need to see the council. Good, good. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Yo, Andy. Shaken, if you want to sing your, um... Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignity Channels and chat, uh, channel no links fence. and chat. No Go ahead. Fence. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems. MOG waving hand, light skin tone, hi Shaken. I apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try hey, not to Andy. get in any trouble. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, <laughs> Shepard. No doubt. That's why I hate politics. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Leave one moment, please. Right. Get some of these medical ones out of the way first. Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy and that someone was critically injured. I came MOG waving hand. Hi, how's it going? Hey, MK, how are you? How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. I'm good, thanks. Just coding away here. Not some lab. I couldn't agree more. Oh, what are you, you coding, man? The I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. <laughs> I'm trying to make a game, a flight simulator survival simulation about being a bird. Nice! Do you want a uh, 
tester for it. Was it for a uh, pace eight? I do actually, it's partially why I bounce around gaming channels, trying to link up with streamers now so when I release I have people to age. Yeah, I'll... I'll, I'll test it out for you. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm going to take my chances. <sighs> get your ass out of this bed and back to your post, Major. You seem like a hell of a soldier. Hey, Realize great, thanks. Trees. I'll make sure you get a steam code I when the day see. arrives. Oh, cool. <sighs> you need anything. Cheers. Let me know. <clears throat> Come on, Major. Fight. Well, I've got problems with my PC at the moment. All gangs now. Re Just send him an email. And that's an order. Yeah. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma cluster to Uh, MK. Uh. MOG clinking beer mugs will do thanks Andy Yeah um MK write my email down cuz I'm going to have to delete it Gordon two one three zero Gmail dot com. Aki. That's my email. Got it? Got it. Right. Expect to see you again so soon? Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. You've modified the metagel correctly, but the metagel has already been in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I closed my eyes, emoji beaming face with smiling eyes. Haha. <laughs> Alright, oh, okay, he's shaking. Commander Shepard, I'm aid physician Dr. Clo Michel. It's a pleasure to meet you. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Kate doing? The aid trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just down the hall. Uh, and okay, put on it. Um, good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. The gaming ham. Good 
because some some emails have been going to my going to my uh, spam box so yeah i be back in a bit yeah no worries andy no worries man Let's go to the embassies now. Okay. First deployment is somewhere near Palavan. Reports say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal They're trying to keep the word. Yeah, welcome all to the stream. Don't be shy, say hi in chat. I do not bite. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Uh, if you've got any questions about amateur radio, please say, please don't be shy. Uh, my, um. Admin and then Cowley might be able around. to help. Earth was attacked. Or I might be able to help. He might only do a nibble. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. And if you're gonna spam this is a similar situation. Even now the I'm definitely gonna course. buy it. If we lend you MOG rolling on the floor our laughing. Worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. Sweet, I've been be thinking about setting up a LoRa mesh network recently. That's a bit like ham, I so guess. Have you heard of that? Scales. This it looks like Star Wars. No, <laughs> I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hag. Um, the human fleet LoRa mesh. No, I haven't. Our initial calculation suggested is very feasible to build. Fits. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers uh, destroyed the Protheans? They are not. Digital mode radio. Here. MK. So then. Only as the catalyst. Uh, but they I don't know. Before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? I, I haven't heard of that. Explain more. I'm intrigued. Laura is much shorter range but you can use it for phone data transmission, small amounts, without internet or cell phone towers. Ah. So, it's more like, uh, Liara believes it can work, and so do I. It's and more like right. shortwave radio we then. stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop them. Um, They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to sounds, stop them. Yeah, that sounds like shortwave and... Uh... Hamshack radio. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on... The, there's um, a new one out. And regroup. Called Hamshack. A summit amongst our it's species. kind of like really big Wi-Fi that runs abnormally world. slow. You may once again consider yeah. Being. I'm sorry, Commander. Because there's a the um, new one for us. It's called Hamshack. Shepard. And they use. Uh, 
I hope that's an offer of support. Varip. I'll be digging up what I can on this. Um, phones. Which is kind of cool. There are a bunch of self-concerned jackasses. I've been jackasses, thinking Shepard. about getting one. We may have a spot. Need I'll check that out too. Ham shack. Yeah, but you need a uh, amateur radio How can they be so call sign and license for it. Because they will looking up um, check up on it. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best. We're about she from MK. Counselor, Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. A Laura node costs about two zero in supplies, has a range of about two km, and can run off solar Those power. Won't proceed without him. Nice. Right. I'm from Ohio, USA. Right, MK. Go to the ARRL. Uh, I'll bring up their website. Give me two seconds. Uh, ARRL. I'll bring up their home, their website. And if you want, go for their go for your amateur radio license, your um, tech license, because I'm in the UK. URL. Uh. Go for your, get your licenses. Uh, I think there's three of them over there. Uh, and three or four of them over there. Tech, intermediate, and no. Thanks, MOG thumbs up. Ah, hang on. I think there might, maybe. Be a home fest coming up your way. Uh, let me have a look. Um, fests. Uh, hang on. Oh, come on. Come on. Um, fests. In Ohio. Oh, Dayton. finished rats if you'd been in Dayton Ohio I am going over to tanks show oh right okay and eat no worries MK, there's, um, Hamfest, there's a couple of, there's a few ham, Hamfests coming up, um, I'll post a link for you.
URL. Um. But yeah, check them out. They might be able to help you get your license. Get your licenses. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way, but the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future, the fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? Mm. Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. Oh cool, I don't think I'll be able to do much of that too soon though. I'm kind of spread real thin on right now, maybe when thing. if I can. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Yeah, um... Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things there along. There is. Thanks. Or well, if you have a look on um, the AWRL website, they might be able to help you out. I might be able to suggest a few things for you. If uh, a friend of mine's still about, I might see if he can jump in and give you some pointers, MK. So bear with me. Uh, I'll call code Discord. Bear with me, I'm just going to have to jump into a voice chat for a sec.
Thanks for the help but to be honest I probably won't be doing much about that for now I'm so busy with programming already as indie gamed. Yeah, okay, no worries. He's on his way. Oh, cool. Cheers, guys. Sorry to be a pain. No, you're not a pain. Thanks for being mad. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Hello. Yo, Mike. How's things? Yeah, MK. This is Mike. MOG waving hand. Hi. He's, uh. Another one of my moderators. I've just made him a moderator. <laughs> How are you? Um. Yeah. Because I'm. I'm only the British side. I only know the British. Michael will know more about the American side of the uh, amateur radio. So he'll be able to steer you I'm in. I'm good. The... Doing a lot of Unity Dev stuff. HPU. How can I help you? If you can explain more about the um, American side of the um, amateur radio and what licenses there are, Michael, that would be great. Um, it's a neat thing, ham radio and all. To be honest, I can't really afford much of it right now, the equipment and licenses and all. I do a per. Skipping the rest. Yes, there is technician, general and extra. To take the test is now 3-5. Take that online as well, Mike. Yes, I have some websites. If you go to qrz.com and type in my call sign, find more information and links. Cool. Cheers, Mike.
it, it really sucks being in the UK at the moment. Because I don't know the... Trying to learn the Americans side and the English British side Just Not a problem if you'd like to reach out to me again please feel free to send me an email and I'll be glad to communicate with you I'm also Yeah okay then Michael Cheers mate That bit really creeps me out. Oh, oh! That bit really creeped me out. Oh, oh! Sorry about that. Hey, that's fantastic. Thanks again. Not a problem. Hope you have a good day. I have subscribed to your channel, so if you need me again, feel free to reach out. They are. Can I help you? I've been forwarding the Cheers, Mike. information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without council support. That dream sequence reminds me of Max Payne a bit. <laughs> yeah. Are you all right? I'll uh, I'll keep your mind out, Mike. Just shaking off some sleep. Commander Shepard, I'm specialist. Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Right, bear with me, I'm just gonna grab a drink of water. Slow down, specialist trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top of the line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, Edie. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. Do you do much with drones? You can also check Seems your like there'd be a lot of overlap in the drone ham communities. There is, there is a bit. Strategic um, specific intel and war analysis. I'm not too sure on that one. The shuttle um, armory, where you can but your I equipment think there is quite a bit. Finally, because set up a lot of hardware down in the old X uh, Ham, um, um, claims that drones way. operate and pretty much on the same frequencies the that we do. Of which, I believe Admiral but only would like, to speak like to at the, the higher frequency. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. 
This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pull I got a little resources. drone recently to try Think out. It it's fun, but yeah, you need some device. licenses even the further the now. Yeah. The I'm fire, not too sure. Don't quote me on it. But... Makes sense though. Drones can cause probes without some oversight. True. Um, but I think, don't quote me on it, but I think, you can count on it. You can use a it's drone. Not it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates um, on your progress. Hack it out. I think you can use in America a a amateur radio license with a drone. I'm not too sure. Um, do not quote me on it. Luckily you don't need a license exactly for drones in USA until you hit a certain weight. I'm nowhere near it. Yeah. You but. just need to register your aircraft. Yeah. I mean, we over here we need uh to take an exam and um you need a license to do it which is why we we are cracking down over here I, I've got I've got to watch what I say because I don't want to give out the right, wrong information
if you know what I mean. Because if I give out the wrong information, then people will um, start complaining. So Sorry, I was just checking my my information there. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thessia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you could be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Right, okay. Deal with that one first. Yeah, for any any drone over here, you need to um, have a um,
Yeah, you need to be licensed. Oh no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'll just go to the second coffin soon. James, open that hatch. <laughs> Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Barnes, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Midori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's going to complicate things. Right. I'm going to leave it there for tonight. Man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. Uh, peace, so respect, now? talk, keep on gaming. And seven threes. And if anyone General wants to know anything about with such heavy casualties, uh, it's hard for me to be so much radio. Just Palavan command will know. MOG waving hand, However, have a nice night. Contact and you, MK. The comm tower is out. Right, I'm going. Peace, respect, all keep on gaming. And seven threes.